My name's Kim Carlisle. We live near Sheridan, Indiana, and we have a shop that's full of Heise glassware. I'll pan this while I'm talking. And today I'm going to do a little bit of something different. Usually I just show you items that I have for sale. But today we're just going to show you pieces out of our collection. And those pieces are all going to be cocktail shakers. So you might want to get a pencil and paper handy in case you see something that we don't have that you have for sale. You might want to contact us. So I'm going to show you our email address. So in case you want to contact us for any reason, you can. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. Our email is the letter K, C-A-R-L-I-S-L, -L at A-T-T -T dot N-E-T. And please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle. We're always looking to add new pieces to our collection. So first, we've got tables set up outside the room here of the cocktail shakers from our collection. We're going to give you a quick, quick preview of those pieces, and then we'll go through them. Hopefully you see something that just kind of piques your interest and you want to know a little bit more about it. Because we'll be going through these cocktail shakers one at a time. But just like all of our other videos, if you don't like what you see, you can shut me off at any time. We're going to start back here in the corner. We have an Ipswich cocktail shaker. The color is called Sahara. And as far as I know, they only made this Ipswich cocktail shaker in one color, that is Sahara, but they also made it in crystal. Heise cocktail shakers, basically they're all made the same. They have the body, and then they have a stopper and a strainer that comes out. Stopper comes out of the strainer. The strainer is made so you can put all your ingredients in a cocktail shaker. Put the strainer back inside it, it has a pour lip on it. Put the stopper in it. Shake it up, take the stopper out, and then you can pour out of the cocktail shaker and the strainer will strain out everything you don't want in the cocktail glass. Next, we have a Cobalt cocktail shaker. The color's Moon Gleam, and the decoration on it is called Arctic Etch. As far as I know, they only put Arctic Etch on this small size cocktail shaker. Heise did make the Cobalt in three different sizes. This is the quart size. They made it in a two quart size and they made it in a pint size. And just like the other cocktail shaker, has a stopper and a strainer in it. Now we've got a two quart cocktail shaker and this has Heise's popular golfer etch on it. We have the same size, same cocktail shaker in the collection, except it's just the one quart, and it also has golfer. So there's two different sizes of cobbles with this golf front. You see the difference in the size. Next, we're going to show you a cocktail shaker in the third size of the cobble, and that's a little pint cocktail shaker. Here's one with the small horse head stopper in it. And basically, these cocktail shakers were just made for two people. Here's a small one with a ram's head stopper. This ram's head stopper is very difficult to find. It's been ground in. It actually fits well in a cocktail shaker. Most of the time, you see these, and it just uses paperweights. Our third one point in the collection is a small one, and if you notice, it has two lovebirds facing each other on one side, and then on the other side, it has two butterflies. This decoration on here is actually a cutting. It was done by a man that worked at Heise Factory. He was a bottle stopper fitter, but then he also did a little cutting on the side. And when the factory went out in 1957, his name was Mark Pickerel, he took equipment home with him or bought equipment and he cut for several years there in the Newark area pieces of glass uh, with any cutting on it that you wanted. And he ran it out of his garage. And Mark actually signed this piece. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it's right above my, my finger and it says the M-A-P and I believe that stood for Mark Allen Pickerel. And this is one of his signature cuttings that he liked to put on pieces. He wasn't a fantastic cutter, but he did a nice job. 
Now the next item, Heisey collectors and other collectors, they want to call it a cocktail shaker, but Heisey just referred to this as a covered jar. The pattern is called Lodestar. The color is called Dawn. That color was popular in the 1950s. And then the lid comes out and it's been ground on the lid and ground on the bottom to keep whatever you put inside it fresh. I've included it in our cocktail shaker collection, even though it may just be a covered jar like the book says. The decoration on it is very similar to a Venus cutting that Heisey had as a production cutting, but it's just a little bit different. There's been several of these cocktail shakers found uh, over the last several years. The next cocktail shaker is just a plain Cobalt cocktail shaker in Sahara. But what makes this cocktail shaker unusual is it has the diamond quilt design on it. Most of the cocktail shakers that Heise made were just plain or no optic, or this one has an optic to it. So it makes it kind of unusual. And it is a one quart cocktail shaker. Here's another one quart cocktail shaker. And this has two oriental gentlemen. They're in these little boats and each one of them has a pole and they're fighting each other in the boats. And then there's waves underneath and waves at the top. Here's another man using this pole just to push the boat along. And this is a high sea decoration. Very unusual to find this on a cocktail shaker. Here's a two quart cocktail shaker. It's in moon gleam, that's the name of the color. And then the cutting on it is called sea glades. If you look, it has groups of fish, bubbles, and seaweeds on it. It's two quart. It's got a little cutting here around the top of the shaker. There's a little cutting around the stopper. The top of the stopper has bubbles and seaweeds on it, as well as the bottom of the stopper has a line of seaweeds in it. Nice cocktail shaker. Hard to find in Moon Gleam with the cutting on it. Next is Country Club. We have two Country Club cocktail shakers. This one's called Bunk Bucking Bronco. This isn't the stopper you normally see in it, but it fits real well. And it is a Heisey stopper. An unusual decoration to find on this cocktail shaker. And the other country club cocktail shaker we have is Winchester. If you look on the back of it, it says Winchester 73 under these crossed guns. It has all kind of cowboy moffets on it. Deck of cards, guns, an Indian in a headdress. There's a cowboy on a gun shooting a buffalo. A very desirable etching to have in a Heisey collection. The next item is one of only two cocktail shakers that Heise made in cobalt blue. Heise called it Stiegel Blue. It's a one quart. I've never seen it in a two quart, only a one quart. And sometimes this cocktail shaker is shown with a crystal stopper and strainer in it. Usually when that comes out, people just assume that the crystal stopper and strainer was put in because someone lost the cobalt blue stopper and strainer. But that's really not the case. If you look in a Heise price guide, and it's price 19, price 1933, February 22nd of 1933. This is an original Heise price guide. And if you know the number of Heise's Cobalt cocktail shaker. Here's a page that says Stiegel Blue, everything on the page. And right here it says 4225, one quart cocktail shaker with crystal or blue stopper and strainer. So that proves the fact that if you find one with a crystal stopper and strainer in it, that's not necessarily been repl has replaced a cobalt one it could be the original stopper and strainer so you'll see them both ways with crystal stopper and strainer cobalt bottom and all cobalt all cobalt 
Next cocktail shaker. It's a two quart Sahara cocktail shaper, shaker with a very elaborate cutting on it. And these cuttings have all been polished to clear. If you look on the bottom, cut on the bottom. The stopper has a corresponding cut on the top. And it's cut around the neck of the shaker as well as the strainer's cut. A sharp looking cocktail shaker. The next one is a two quart cobalt cocktail shaker. This one is cut all over. Don't know who the cutter was. Has a big bird of paradise. The bear paradise feathers are really flared out. And there's very fine detail on it if you look closely. There's flowers, roses, vines. Here's another small bird of paradise down through here. A large tree with limbs. A very well done cut cocktail shaker. Top of the stopper is cut. And then it has a ray cut in the bottom of it. Another two quart cocktail shaker. This time it's all in moon gleam with another elaborate cutting on it. This time on the cocktail shake cocktail shaker, they cut a sunburst on the top as well as a matching sunburst on the bottom. And we have two Flamingo cocktail shakers. Again, elaborate cuttings. This has the same stopper and strainer as one previous, cut on the top and the bottom. Then the same cocktail shaker, two quart size in Flamingo. This one has a hop star on top and a hop star on the bottom to match it. Besides the Cobalt Cocktail Shaker and Cobalt Blue, as far as I'm aware of, there's only one other cocktail shaker that was made in Cobalt Blue, and that's Heisey's Revere Cocktail Shaker. These Revere Cocktail Shakers are always marked in the center of the bottom with the Diamond H, other companies make cocktail shakers that are very similar to them, but if you take the top off, the Heisey one goes up at an angle and then it really starts to flare out from here up to the top. And this one has a popular Nimrod carving on it, which is a sandblast. This is a top that I found and put on it when I bought it. The person thought it was a vase because it was cloudy inside. Then we have two other Revere cocktail shakers in the collection. This one has Tally Ho. And the shaker tops just come right off. If you notice, you might be able to see the flare on this one a little bit better than you could the cobalt blue one. And the Tally Ho design on this is larger than most cocktail shakers when you see the Tally Ho design. On the other cobalt cocktail shakers that have Tally Ho, that building is not that big. It's markedly smaller. And again, it's marked in the center of the bottom. Very popular etching. Then the third Revere is plain, but it's in Sahara. Marked on the center of the bottom. And I want to emphasize they need to be marked. If you find one that's not marked, it's not going to be Heisey. Next is a Cobalt Cocktail Shaker, one quart. 
and it has one of the six circus etchings on it. And this etching is called Rube. There's a tramp with his bag and he's walking down the road. There's a man playing a sousaphone. And these are called circus etchings. There are six different circus etchings that they put on these cocktail shakers. This is just one of them. Then another one quart cocktail shaker. We showed you this earlier in Moongleam with sea glades on it. Here's a crystal one with sea glades on it, except this one has the girl's head stopper, or I like to call it a mermaid head stopper when it's put in this. Very unusual. Very popular cutting on a piece. This is the only Marshall cocktail shaker we have in our collection, and this has an elaborate cutting on it. Again, we don't know who put the cutting on it. This was actually bought at one of the apple tree auctions in Newark, Ohio, about 10 years ago. It's got cutting around the base, engraving all over it. Some of the engraving was cut, polished to clear. Other parts of the engraving were cut and left gray. Cut around the top, cut around the strainer, cut on top the stopper, around the edge of the stopper. Just literally cut all over. A very nice piece. Last piece we have to show you is Twist. We're not sure this is a cocktail shaker. I've never seen one with the proper lid on it. This lid is threaded on the top, and this is threaded, but it doesn't fit very well. But that's the lid that came on it. Colors Moon Gleam. Very unusual piece. Marked in the center of the bottom. Heise made a salt shaker that looks exactly like this in shape with a glass little lid on top. So we don't know if this might have came with a glass lid. No one seems to know. So that finishes up the cocktail shakers. If you have a cocktail shaker, especially one in color that we don't have, we would be very interested in purchasing it off of you. So I hope you enjoyed this little program today. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we have other videos that are coming up later on this week. On Thursday, we will have our half price Thursday sale, which we pick out select items from our shop, put them on this table, and everything's half price, first come, first serve. Thank you very much and have a good day.